I'm writing a question f of x is equal to uh, let me see it again is x plus one x plus one over x minus two at x is equal to five okay so uh, in this question it is asked that find the slope of the tangent to the function which is given here which is rational function at x is equal to five so and uh, here we have different terminology like what is slope what is tangent what is function so function is this thing which is given in a variable rational function and slope uh, is the is the rise over run of a straight line since this is a function so it will perhaps uh, curve so uh, let's say it has this uh, shape just i'm assuming the shape so whenever there are x one two three four five when x is five we need to approach to the curve and at that point we have to draw a tangent line tangent line is a line that touch the curve at that point so we need at to find point. do yeah, yeah and we need to find the slope of that tangent line which is equal to the dy by dx where y is the uh, function which is whose curve is drawn here so what we need to do is to differentiate that function using the uh, rules of differentiation and then we have to plug the value 5 for x and uh, and the numeric value that we get after simplification would be the slope of the tangent of that function at this particular point okay so you want to use derivatives but um it's it says to use limits so i usually use this fx plus h minus fx divided okay. by h okay okay uh, so does it does it matter or that's just a, an easier way that uh, i have to learn first okay so the one you are talking about the limit way is the basic definition of differentiation uh, we use that limit definition to find out different formulas different shortcuts you can say that and when we are asked to solve a question we normally do not use that limit definition we use that shortcut formulas that we have developed using that definition and that saves our time but if you insist i can solve with that method as well uh, uh, but normally okay we, yeah show me show me both ways but this way is more efficient is what you're yeah. saying okay oh okay okay yeah so uh by definition uh if we have a function like this and it's the prime of x is called the derivative of x uh, we sometimes put our dash on it to represent the derivative of uh, that function or sometimes we call d by dx both notations are used in limit definition this is limit from h and goes to zero of the function x plus h and then minus f of x and hold over the difference of the arguments x plus h minus x which is h so we need to calculate this limit if this limit exists uh, we say that this function has derivative at that particular point so here since we have f of x so we need to put the value of f of x here and also we need to find the value of f of x plus h for this we have to we have to modify this function and we have to change the argument from x to x plus h meaning that whenever you see x here you have to replace that x by x plus h so this becomes yep. x plus h plus one over x plus h minus two okay so now i have f of x i have f of x plus h but i need to put these two values in this limit definition and have to evaluate the limit okay coming back to this limit limit h tends to zero and then f of x plus h which have this thing x plus h plus one and then x plus h minus two minus two and then we have minus f of x which have this value x plus one over x minus two and then whole over i have h this becomes limit h tends to zero okay now i have to evaluate these two uh, rational things i have to take the lcm so this is just 
x plus h minus 2 times x minus 2 and uh, after doing this i have to using uh, we have different ways of doing this just taking lcm or making the denominator same and then adding that up this becomes x plus h plus 1 times x minus 2 and then x plus 1 times x plus h plus minus h two. minus two. okay yeah. Yeah, yeah okay and then and this h i can write it just here so save my place okay now i have to uh, okay simplify it uh, as much as possible since uh, h in the denominator if i plug the limit at this point uh, this might uh, becomes in uh, infinite so before I put the limit, I have to make sure that uh, everything is in proper format. So what I do, I will uh, I will simplify uh, in the numerator. So this becomes limit h tends to zero. Okay, uh, it becomes x uh, into x, which is x square, and then minus two x. Then we have h time x then minus 2 h and oh, then you're distributing, I have, right? yeah x and minus 2 so i'm just uh, expanding these two factors yeah and then i have here x into x x square and since i have a negative sign outside so i have to change the sign as well then it is x h it is minus x h and then x time minus 2 which is now plus 2 x Okay, then one times x, one x, but they have negative before, so minus x, and x times h is minus x h, and, and then I have minus two, which is here plus two. Uh, I think here I make some mistake. Here it's only h because one time x and one time h and one time minus two. Okay, and then everything in the denominator will remain as it is. X plus h minus two and then x minus 2 into h okay i have to uh, i think this term cancel out and this also cancel out this hx hx cancel out and this minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 cancel out this x mm -hmm. and x cancel out okay what i have left i have to erase i think some portion here to get finally what I have here. Okay. This is when you input five, I believe. Uh, I'm guessing. Uh, excuse me. What is that? Is that when you put the five in soon? Five into H? Uh -huh. Or sorry, X? X equals five soon? Uh, yeah, yeah. I uh, can do it. But uh, before we have to take care of the H because. Uh, uh, since h in the denominator and its limit is zero if i put h zero this becomes something over zero which is infinity so a limit will not exist so i have to make sure before applying limit that uh, what happens to that h so I, I x is fine i can plug it anytime it's, it's not a problem the problem is it because my limit is on h so so in this limit i have the variable h so uh, this becomes limit h tends to zero and then i have this term is left and this term is left which is minus 2 h and minus h this is minus 3 h and everything in the denominator will remain as this x plus h minus 2 x minus 2 into h and now you can see that this h cancel out and now i am good i will apply the limit what that means i have just replaced h by zero so it becomes minus three in the numerator and x plus h which is now zero it is x minus two and here it is x minus two again so this is my f prime of x this is the derivative of x this is the one way of calculating the derivative of function the rest process is same but processes i just need to replace x by 5 so that means f of prime of x which is now 5 so it becomes minus 3 over 5 minus 2 which is 3 and 5 minus 2 which is again 3 so this becomes minus 1 by 3 so this is my m 
it is minus one by three. Okay. This is one way of doing this. Okay. Uh, now, if you like, I can use the other way of doing this. Should I start? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. Now I need to write the function again, f of x, which is equal to x. So this is the more efficient way. The, yeah, this, this is more. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a more common way that we use. Uh, but you have to, uh, you have to uh, use some formulas. Uh, in the limit way, we do not have any formulas. We have the direct way. We, we, we just only need to take care of the limit formulas, limit concepts. But here, uh, if we have a function, it's have the rational function like u over v, and if we want to differentiate that function, and I'm representing the derivative by this dash sign, this is equal to uh, v as it is and differentiating u and minus and holding u as it is and differentiating v, and in the denominator, the square of v. This is called the quotient law of differentiation. Whenever we have two functions in this format, we can differentiate it by using this law. So v as it is differential of u minus and then uh, vice versa, holding u as it is and differentiating v and in the denominator, the square of v. So this is here, x plus one is my u and x minus two is my uh, v. So I will differentiating it, differentiating this function with respect to x, what I get on the left is f prime of x and here, according to this formula, I need to hold the v as it is. So x minus two will remain as it is. And then I have to differentiate the u, the one which is in the numerator. So x plus one is derivative and then minus, and then holding x plus one as it is, and now differentiating the bottom one, x minus two is derivative. And in the denominator, I have to take the square of x minus two, this one. And this dash sign is just the derivative. So whenever I'm differentiating x plus one, this means I will differentiate x and then I will differentiate one. Since one is a constant, its derivative is zero and the derivative of x with respect to x is one. So this becomes x minus two, the first factor will remain as it is. And here it becomes one plus zero because the derivative of x is one and the derivative of one, which is constant is always taken as zero and minus okay. here x plus one and then i have x minus two the derivative same process the derivative of x is one and since two is constant its derivative is zero and everything in the determinator will remain as it is one more step so this is just thing as one so this is x minus two and here again this thing is just one i'm multiplying this remain nothing and we have negative outside expanding it it becomes minus x and minus one and here i have x minus two the whole scale this x cancels out which means my f prime of x is minus three over x minus two to the whole scale this is the derivative this is the other way of finding the derivative the next process is the same as we have the previous way like i just need to replace x by its value which is five so f prime of five which is now becomes m the slope is minus three over five minus two its whole square which is minus three over five minus two three to the square is nine and it's minus one by three this is your slope of the function at x is equal to five 